Hello, hello. Um, I'm back with the second tutorial for this for today. So in the previous tutorial, we turned this image um, black and white, and now we are going to turn this image black and white, but we're going to keep the red of the rose. And obviously you can do this with all sorts of images and photographs. Um, the same principle will apply. So the first thing I'm gonna do, good practice, I'm just gonna unlock that layer, drag it into that little post-it note symbol to duplicate it and just turn that one off. It's just something that, you know, good practice. Um, so in this one, previous tutorial, in previous tutorial, we used the magic wand tool. In this one, we're gonna use the quick selection tool. So if you select your quick selection tool, and I'm just gonna command or control plus to zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna hold down the space bar and just drag that rose head so I've got a really nice view of it. Now, this is my quick selection brush. I'm gonna just click on this little bit here. You wanna make sure you've got it on plus, that middle one, you've got three options, you want it on the plus. I'm just gonna use this drop down box and I want quite a soft edge, so I don't want it really hard, I want it quite soft, so I'm gonna change that down to about 20. Just click back up there to get rid of that. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and hold and I'm gonna paint over this rose. And what you'll see is it's gonna make a fairly nice selection for me. There we go. Now that whole rose is selected. So I'm gonna hit Command or Control zero, just so I've got the whole image in shot. Now, if I just go ahead and turn this black and white using the same method, you'll see what's gonna happen. Because it's the rose head that's selected, I'm just turning the rose head black and white. I don't want that. So this is an error. Obviously we can click and drag that layer into the bin if we want to, but what we can do is you might not have it open. If you go to Windows, you've got an option here called History. If you click on that History, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this little panel. Now, it might be the case you wanna go right back to the beginning, and that will bring up your original image locked in the same state that you opened it. But you can see here are all of the options, all of the things that I've done to this image since I've been working on it. Now I'm gonna go back to quick selection. I could go back to where I've duplicated the layer. I could go back to um, the original, where I unlocked the layer, but I want it at the quick selection. Once you've used your history um, panel, if you wanna get it out of the way, all you do is click those little arrows. But this gives you the option to go back to a previous edit that you've made on an image. Now it might be the case you need to drag this down because you might have several options in here. It does only keep a certain amount. It doesn't keep everything from the minute you've opened it. They do start to drop off after a while. So that's just something I wanted to show you today. So we have our rose head selected, but we don't want that selected. We want everything else. So I'm gonna go to select at the top and I'm going to go to inverse. And now what you can see is we've got our marching ants all the way around the outside of our image, and this piece is also selected. So this is all of the stuff that we're gonna turn black and white. Exactly the same process, go to our little, actually I'll show you another way of doing exactly that. Up here we've got our adjustments. If you click on adjustments, you've got this little square which is half black and half white. If you click on that, it's exactly the same as doing the adjustment layer down here. There is a third option, and that is if you go into layer and it will pop up with a new layer adjustment and exactly the same. You'll get this same dialog box up. So we can do exactly the same. We can play with our sliders. Obviously there's not a lot of point changing the red because there is no red in our black and white, but we can have a go with the yellows and the greens and see what that does just to give that a little bit of a, there we go, quite happy with that. So now you can see again, we've got, we've got our layers down the bottom and you can see this little part which was masked out of our black and white um, option where we've turned it all black and white. Now, obviously if you're using a photograph of a little girl holding those red roses, which <laughs> seems to be very popular, um, it's gonna look um, 
very different to this. This is obviously more of a graphic. Um, but that is the general idea of how to leave a section of the image in colour. So what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm just going to go back to our poinsettia and we're going to do that again. So I'm going to drag this black and white layer into the bin. We don't want that. I'm just going to zoom in by Control or Command Plus. Um, I'm going to select this top one here, but as you can see for this, my brush is quite large. So I'm going to reduce it by hitting the open square bracket key. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this red poinsettia. Now this is a really good indication, um, a good opportunity for me to show you something else. Because as you can see, what's happened is here we've got some of that cream area selected. I want to remove that part of the selection. The first thing I'm going to do is use my open square brackets to change the size of my brush. I want it quite small for this. And to remove part of a selection, you hit the Alt key. So I'm going to go to the Alt key and I'm just going to slowly move down there. Now as you can see, it's now actually taken some of my red away. So to add to the selection, I'm going to hold down the Shift key and just re-add that piece of red. So it's Alt to remove and it's Shift to add to your selection. You can of course change your brush to add and remove, add and remove up the top here, but the keyboard shortcuts are much, much easier. So I'm gonna hit Command or Control Zero to make that um, the size of my page. And again, I don't want to change this bit black and white. I want to go to select, inverse, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose black and white. I'm going to play around with my sliders. And there you have it. You have your black and white image with your splash of colour. So what you would do is obviously go ahead and file and save and then you have your images. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and you can apply it to so many different things. If you've been to a wedding, bridesmaids dresses, you know, perfect, all of those kind of things that you can use this same technique for. So I'm going to leave it there. I will be back with more Photoshop tutorials. Um, please give this a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and you've been able to follow along nice and easily. And I will see you all soon. Thanks very much, bye.